All right, let me try to tune on 80 meters. All right, 3.8 megahertz. I'm using the Palstar HF tuner. Antenna one is a zero five, and I'm currently using antenna one. And percentage of power, let's go 10% of power so it tunes. And we will try tuning now. So I tuned it at 1.39, but I could also manually tune it. And then turning these knobs. Again, I'm manually tuning it. You can see it manual. 10% power. hard to tune with one hand press a continuous recording I'm going to store it here. Oh, I need to continue to push 10. 1.12. I'm going to store it. This thing's changed. Back to auto. All right, so we're going to go to full power and um, looking at uh, 3.8 is CW. 109 watts, SW is 1.0, correction, 1.12. ALC is good. So this is the uh, 0545 foot whip antenna. And looking outside, you'll see it right there. All right, bear in mind that this the coax is 150 feet of RG 213 so I just showed you that I could tune on antenna 1 which is my 05 right so if I go to antenna 2 
and my DX commander, which I, I really like, and that's my go-to antenna. Here we go, tuning up right now. The DX commander has the uh, inverted L 80 meter element, and I can further tune it uh, lower if I need to, but that's good right there on antenna two. And that's the DX Commander. So yeah, I would say that you can upgrade to the 43 foot 05 antenna, right? Or you can go for the DX Commander and then put a 80 meter inverted L if you have the real estate. But I know you're, you have a small lot, but I hope this video works. This is N4VFR, Captain Darren. Have a good day.